Fact or Cap Diamond Tester Edition. I'm sure you've all seen videos like this. Chupapi Mourinho! Chupapi! Chupapi Mourinho! Chupapi Mourinho! Or like this one here. So my $500 million diamond is fake? If it was fake, could I do this? Real! 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 So today, we're going to be showing you how these guys get their diamonds to test positive when they're not. So we're gonna start things off with a, subject, a test subject, sorry. This is my fiance's uh, engagement ring. It's a real diamond, okay? So as you can see, if I put it on the stone, it tests real, cause it is real, okay? Now we're gonna go into another test subject. The reason diamond testers work as they do is based on how well an object conducts heat. Okay, so metal, just like the spoon here, happens to be a great conductor. As you can see, it's a real spoon. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the big diamond that all these diamond guys are using, okay? So, I have a feeling, since this is glass, it's $20, I don't think it's gonna test positive, as I guessed. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna put this diamond tester out of the screen, just like this, and they're gonna move their finger, okay? So when they move their finger, you can make anything real, including the air. And then I have one more piece here for you guys, okay? So this is a fake bling watch. And 90% of the diamond guys who get their diamonds tested, diamonds tested use this. So if you go in between the uh, diamonds here, Sorry, it's gonna test positive. So one sec, as you can see, this was a $15 watch on Amazon. So now you guys know what's fact and what's cap, okay? I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications. And if you wanna see more videos debunked, please let us know in the comments and we will be sure to do them for you. Have a good day. Bye.